Welcome to White Shadow Fair, where I'm making it homemade and I'm making it with love. Today, I'm making a super soft buttermilk whole wheat bread. You'll need warm water, yeast, salt, honey, buttermilk, butter, and white whole wheat flour. In your stand mixer or in a regular bowl, put one and a half cups of warm water along with four and a half teaspoons of yeast or two packets. Once you see that your yeast has started to bloom, it's time to add one fourth of a cup of honey, a half a cup of melted butter that you let cool slightly, two cups of buttermilk, and then you're going to slowly start adding your eight to 10 cups of whole white wheat flour. You're also going to add two tablespoons of vital wheat gluten. Now that is optional, but it's certainly going to help your bread have more lift. So if you own vital wheat gluten, do add those two tablespoons. And then also one tablespoon of salt. you've added six cups of the whole wheat flour, it's time to start adding the flour in extremely slowly, about a tablespoon at a time, until you get it to the absolute perfect consistency. You would like the dough to be tacky, but not so sticky that it sticks all over your hand. It's a lot easier to add a little bit of flour at a time than it is to add liquid in later on. Once you get to this and you've kneaded it for five minutes, give it a 15 minute break. That just gives the wheat time to soak up the liquids and hydrate. Now, after that 15 minutes is up, go ahead and knead this for eight to 10 minutes and you are looking for this dough to be nice and elastic and get to the window pane stage. At this point, I'm gonna look at my dough, give it a feel, and give it a stretch, and I see that it breaks apart, so I need it some more. I want it to become elastic so that I can pull it apart and it doesn't break. Just put a little bit of oil on my hands to help myself get everything out of this bowl. This makes an absolutely huge amount of dough, so I'm just turning it over. I put it in a greased bowl, and I'm going to cover that bowl and let it rest for one hour. Now, after that one hour time, I'm looking to see that it has doubled in size, and mine more than doubled in size, so it's ready to be shaped into two loaves. I try to get them as equal as possible, and I use nine by five inch pans. Now, I would have never thought that adding buttermilk to a recipe of whole wheat bread would make such a difference, but this is by far the softest bread I have ever made. And then I stretch it out into kind of a rectangle, roll it up, tuck the ends in and stick it into my greased loaf pan. All right, at this point, throw a tea towel over your two loaves and let them rest and rise for the next hour. You are looking for them to be about one inch above the rim of the pan. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees, about 15 minutes before that one hour is up. And here you can see what they look like. They have domed a little bit and they are risen about one inch above the side of those pans. Then they're going to go into the oven at 425 for five minutes. Then you're gonna drop the temperature to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and continue baking for 25 minutes. I always take the temperature of my bread. It should be somewhere between 190 and 205 degrees. These loaves rose so wonderfully and after I turned them out I brushed them with a little bit of butter just to soften the top and you would not believe after giving them two hours to completely cool when I sliced them up they were like slicing into a piece of wonder bread just 
so incredibly soft and I didn't even think that wheat bread could do that. So I hope you will give this a try. As you can see, these have risen quite nicely. This is a new recipe for me that I will be going back to over and over again. It really is hard to believe that this is whole wheat bread. Here I'm just showing you how bendable and soft this bread is. And using that white whole wheat flour makes it appear so much lighter than a normal loaf of whole wheat bread. So thank you for joining me here at White Shadow Fair. I hope you'll give this loaf a try. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button.